Right, so the only place to, the only other place to go, I mean I assume we've not to go back to the big open area with the tree because when I was having my, God almighty, look at it. Oh, um, when I was having my run around in the footage that is now lost, I mean I couldn't really see anything except the passageway leading back up to the beginning part, so I mean. I guess we just have to listen to this little fucker laugh as he follows me. Oh god, his footsteps. His horrid little footsteps. He's like a deformed baby of some kind. Right, okay, let's get back up here, let's get back up here, let's get back up here. Because it's not... Oh my god. It's not worth the health that we lose. So, I don't know, I mean, is, oh, do you know, I was just about to say, is this one of these instances where you have to go up to the thing in order to select it? Because we haven't been given any ammunition for this, so I wonder if maybe it's part, maybe it's a cutscene that she shoots the boards out of the way. Uh, uh, Oh come on, the very idea that Lara can't just climb over that board and then just slip through that hole. I mean, have you seen the gaps that she squeezes through in Rise of the Tomb Raider? It's almost like she's trying to show off her skinniness. So the very idea that core design era Lara can't... Ah. Yeah, ah. Oh. The very idea that skinny ass core design era Lara couldn't just slip through that, that massive gap. No, if ever there's an opportunity to destroy something, you know she's going to take it. Right, okay. Okay then. Ah, uh, we've got a torch. I'm assuming that's what that is. Oh no, it's an iron clapper. I thought that, that, that looks very like the torches from Last Revelation. I thought that maybe we're going to use fire to get rid of that bloody thing. Well that's actually quite nice actually because the bell's broken when it f fell which you know being a big metal thing you probably wouldn't expect that's going to happen but still a nice nice little touch that it's actually been damaged. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 I don't like this music. This is no. <laughs> that is something right out of a creepy horror film when it's the cute little child that couldn't possibly be a danger to us. You know, or like, um, you know, in Dead Space. Uh, yeah, the first one, the, the original Dead Space when it was. Um, uh, twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> oh, ah, that's a torch, isn't it? Yes, because it's just in our hand. Yeah, so do we have to light something up? I don't like all these coffins. I don't, oh, there's fire there. I don't recall it ever happening in Tomb No, actually it did. It happened in Last Revelation. Uh, but, you know, you see lots of coffins, you're just expecting it to open up. And clearly I have to light something up. I'm very nervous by how how close this. Oh shit! 
Ah, how close this open flame is to her face. No, stay away from me, I have fire. Ah! Well, that was just random good luck. Oh, is that the tree? Oh! Right, so... Oh, oh my god, Lara, that was an amazing throw. So I'm assuming that's the heart. Fuck you, Lara. Oh, really? Okay, okay, Lara. There. Oh my god. Pick up the damn heart. Go back to your son. This is but a child. And she shall not cross you. As you shall not cross her. He doesn't seem overly surprised to see her, though. Until the morning. That's assuming you'll stay in one place, young lady. Nothing with demons, right? Well, I can't promise anything in this godforsaken place. I light the way and go on ahead to clear out any unwelcome guests. Now, once you're out, head to the chapel over the bridge. I'll meet you there. I'm forgetting me manners. Don't speak to strange things. And if there's anything around, and trusting the skills in this area, there should be iron girl. Use iron to repel. See you on top. Keep your wits about you. <laughs> yes, just walk away and leave the 16 year old at the pit where there's the big demon. Oh, now, I'm sorry, but right, that was a heart. Yeah. You know we've got to do it. Well, that was disappointing. I was kind of hoping we would see some kind of monster or something. Yeah, well, you know something, Father? That's what's going to happen if you just abandon the kid. But, I'm seriously... The... Oh, God. Like, th there's monsters. Like, there's actual proper, actual, real-life monsters. And he just walked away from her and told her to stay put off. Oh. God. Right, okay. Right, okay, I guess this is where we're going. Oh, yes, music's playing. That's always a good sign. Oh, but that's... Oh! But that's just taking us back here. Right, we've got the higher... No. The Iron Clapper. Can I use it now? No. For God's sakes, Lara, there's iron... Oh, fuck me. Right, well, there's nothing I can do about that. It's like he's rubbing it in. He's laughing. I mean, I didn't see another, but I suppose back up the way he went, but... But he went back up here, and... <clears throat> I don't get the impression we're meant to... Let's see if I chuck that down there. Can we see a better idea of what's down? Okay, let's do it. 
Oh, it's just a drop. That's all it is. There, look, oh, there's literally nothing in here. <sighs> so... Let's see. Let's pick up the torch again. I wonder... No. I mean, maybe I have to put the heart somewhere. No. Do I have to... But I honestly... This was just random. I don't think I even... I was following a specific path. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Well maybe it was... I should not really climb with that. Uh, maybe it was back this way. Because th there was that open um, area with the crypts. Is this it? Yeah. There was something... Oh yeah, there was one of them I had to torture. I think we can reach it. Is that one of those... Oh, right, right, okay. I was wondering if it was... You know how in the last revelation you had... Well, this game's got it a couple of times as well. The holes in the wall that you can reach into. That's what I was thinking this was. Right, so I've got the heart and I'm just gonna... God, there's so much creepy laughter in this level, I don't like it. Oh, fuck right off. Great, so that's what came out of the crypts, is these bastards. Right, but that door's open. <laughs> yes, lad, I just casually walk while these horrible things are behind you. Oh my god, it's my worst nightmare come to life. Oh! Oh no, don't bother picking it up again. What are they doing? Are they having a little slap fest back there. Oh, it's gone. I was hoping we could actually pick up the, the iron clapper again and uh, use it. camera angles are really dodgy. I mean, I've bitched about them in probably every Let's Play, but, you know, it's that kind of 90s game way of being really cinematic, and it, it's, it's bad. It's really bad. It doesn't look good at all. Right, where are we going now? Oh, oh. Oh, t boom. Just suddenly in a completely different area. With some really creepy atmos. Um, labyrinth. Right, okay, well, that's the gallo trees. I mean, uh, wow. You know, I, I, I went into this with a really negative memory of the, the Ireland levels. And I really do need to reassess that because that was absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful beautiful level for the time. I mean you compare that to a lot of the other games that came out near the end of the PlayStation 1's life. That was absolutely gorgeous. 
and you know the sound the, the the sounds in the background whether it was just like the rain or you know like the animals or just like so creepy uh, sounds I mean even just listening to this while I'm on the save screen this is creepy stuff so you, but but you know that's actually something I've been noticing you know the first Tomb Raider game is very quiet but once you get into Tomb Raider 2 there's some brilliant sounds uh, even if it is just a, a two minute recording on loop you know the actual sounds themselves look s sound really really fantastic um, that's something I've come to appreciate from from the classic era Tomb Raiders a lot more having replayed them in more more recent times I really appreciate that yeah there was a lot of shortcomings from the time uh, but they also they also did some really great stuff and I think this level is just an absolutely perfect example of it. Looks beautiful, sounds creepy, which makes a really effective level. I'm still I, I'm still of the opinion that a patch of grass and is not Ireland. You know, there's nothing overly Irish about this. But and Gallows Tree, that was a great level. I really, really enjoyed that.